Yo, yo, guys, how's it going? It's your boy, The Watch Pug, and for fuck's sake, this is like the fourth time I'm trying to record this video, but let's jump straight into the overview. So, on the first glance of the house, you see that we have a good old little path. Now, a little tip I would advise using when building paths in any sort of build, do not use one singular block, use many different blocks, which are pretty similar in colour, to give it a bit more of a lively effect. So coming up onto the patio, we have the front door. Now I pretty much just used this glass and like bent it outward so it looks like an opening door, an opening glass door even, like I've done here too as you can see. But uh, in closer inspection, this house is, I've got to admit, I've done a pretty good job on it. Uh, we got the little lounge area and we move on to the kitchen. Now the kitchen, I don't actually know what's going on but these drawers right here, something went wrong. I really don't have a fucking clue what went wrong but something went wrong. It's, it used to be like drawers, but now it's just signs for some reason. Then moving towards the back of the house, we have a little patio, and it looks pretty good. If you got kids though, I do not advise using this patio because they will fucking die. So moving on to where the bedroom used to be, I've added something a little cool. I'm not going to tell you quite what it is, but it is something fucking awesome. I will show you in just a moment. And if we move on to the back garden, you can see that the back garden actually looks pretty nice. Uh, the pond, the little pond, you know, just a chill area if you want to chill out and watch the little fishies. So now we're at the bottom of the stairs, you can see I added two little guards, you know, just those little light things that people have in their houses. We've got a big, massive overview of the beautiful world. And as you can see, that looks so goddamn beautiful. Wow. That really does look nice. But yeah, moving on, we have the bedroom. This is like a master bedroom. This this is a sort of a design, guys. I've done this for people that use survival. Um, I know these blocks ain't easy to get, like quartz ain't easy to get, but I thought I'd do it for the people that play survival. Okay, guys, sorry about that. My drivers uh, crashed again, so I need to update them. But if any... But as I was saying, this house is for people that, you know, like to play survival. Because that's why I didn't add, like, the main details, like a bathroom and all that good stuff. But we got a nice, good old rooftop that has a beautiful overview of the Minecraft world. Uh, we got a little barbecue, sort of. We got a little swimming pool. Um, nice little jacuzzi, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything upstairs. Now, the main thing I wanted to show you was this. This is, in fact... The fucking coolest thing in the house. It's just very dark. Very, very, very dark. You can't see nothing. Um, but it is, in fact, a wine cell. So if I hit this on, boom. There we go. We have light. Right, what's going on? What's going on? My shader pack does not allow me to see item frames. Oh, okay. Okay, so it does not allow me to see this. So it doesn't look as cool. But this is a little wine cell, I thought I'd do it, you know, you can still access these chests and all that good stuff. But that is pretty much everything in the house. But yeah guys, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. If you want to download this uh, world, then please leave 30 likes, we're going to try and reach 30 likes on this video. And uh, yeah, until next time, Paraglamishes, out! Look, see I remember when I met you as a sophomore Started out as friends, but I knew that we would want more Hit your favorite restaurant, with your favorite dress on That's one of my favorite memories